please. Thank you for your uh, attention, Aaron. Um, my name is Fred. I'm NSRO resident downtown. Um, Sorry, Fred, what, did you have a last name? Fred Lincoln um, from the downtown east side. All right, welcome. Thank you, um, Mayor and Council, staff for listening. Uh, I just wanted to say something about um, being a resident in the downtown east side. There's nothing easy about it. Like, um, I'm a trained professional in Canada has invested thousands and thousands of dollars to educate me and train me. I've been um, around for quite a while, in and out of the downtown east side since 1981. So I've seen a lot of changes. I've heard a lot of stories. I've been a drug addict, alcoholic, pill popper. The only thing that I haven't done is raped and killed anybody. But I've been involved down there for quite a long time. I've seen and heard a lot of horrific stories and witnessed a lot of stuff. But it's my home. I was born in a small town and lived in a small town for most of my life. Um, as a First Nations person, um, I've lived pretty much a marginalized life. Every opportunity that I had, most of the time I'd been overlooked at. A lot of really good chances I had to make my life better. But, but here I am, still, still fighting. Now, I've been hearing a lot of things about um, developers and people that want to push or, or phase out um, people like myself. Now, I, I, I grew up athletic and always been part of, part of a community and been involved. And I think that this is going to be a fight that I'm going to get involved in. I've been sitting back for quite a while listening and um, hearing a lot of things about uh, these developers coming into my, my little part of the town. I live in a Chelsea along with uh, Stephen there. And... Um, I've also worked for the owners, so I've, I've, I have two perspectives about living in the downtown east side, being a manager and a, a tenant as well. I, I tend to lean more towards the uh, tenant and help them first because I know what it's like to live there and um, not have enough money to do anything. All, most of the money that I make from, from the owner of my building goes towards my the people that help me and um, in my community, I help other people as well. But um, I, I don't like the idea of having uh, some some owner or, or buyer of a building come in and um, use use scare tactics and try to intimidate people to move or to even bribe them. I just wanted to say that um, I'm not going to sit back on this and. and <laughs> Let, let this happen to my people, especially where I live. I, I've already had a rough life as it is, and for somebody to come and uh, try to push me out, I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to have a bunch of people behind me. And I know that um, this, this isn't going to be easy, and I hope that you guys think about people like us, because we're, we're, we're just as human as you are. I, I, I've been there. I've been there and I've worked with people like yourself in other cities and um, I, I, I have some awareness. But, but once I get caught, get caught up, I, I can promise one thing that um, I, I will be coming back. Uh, I, I, I just don't like the idea of um, somebody coming in and um, trying to force me to move somewhere else when this has been my home for the last four years. It's all I know, it's all I can afford. And um, I've, I've grown accustomed to the people there, even though it's not my normal environment, it, it now is. So I, I really don't have a choice. And um, I just want you guys to think about um, how difficult it will be for, for us to have to relocate. Um, I, I really don't, I want stability, just like anybody else. I want to be able to plant, I want to be able to sit down and have a coffee with my friends or invite somebody over. Mm -hmm. Just like everybody else. I, I, I want what you want. I, wa I want a good life. I want stability. And I just want, want a place to call home. 
This is my home. I live in the downtown east side. That's all I have to say. Thanks very much.